I'm back. Welcome back to my channel. The struggle is real with the makeup nurse. Today we're going to do first impressions Friday. So um, I already have my face all moisturized and my eyes primed. And I am going to use this palette by Winky Lux. I got two of them. They're both coffee, supposedly coffee scented. But I'm going to go more with um, this one because it shows that it looks like it's got more of a purpley and pinkish shade where this is mainly all neutrals with a gray. So I'm going to use this palette. I'll um, use the other palette another time. Try that out. Make sure, I'm sure they're the same formula, just for different colors. Okay. I don't really smell the scent. It's like a little bit there. Not, not like some of the other palettes I've had. So I'm going to go in with Brulee. For the transition shade. Get those over my, around, get that all over my lid. Or at least in the crease anyway. It's a little powdery. Yeah. I, you have to really try to smell it to get the smell. It's not that scented. Not like the physician formulas, bronzers. Oh, that is awesome. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go in with the shade. I think nutmeg just to try to in the crease as well. There's a lot of powder. It's very powdery. It's got some kickback in the pan. Which is all right. I'm back in a different hotel. I'm back in California at my next assignment. I started this on Wednesday this week and today's Friday and so um, just trying to get all settled in to the hotel and to my job. Okay, I'm going to go on with the shimmery shade now, hibiscus, even though um, I prefer a matte for this but um, the, the only mats are, oops, and I just took that, I was thinking, is the uh, cinnamon shade, I was going to say, it's like the brownish shades, um, I'm, but I'm going to go in with the hibiscus, the purpley shade, and kind of put this on the outer portion of my eye. Not very pigmented, maybe because it's a shimmer. Hmm. You have to really build this up, it seems like. And it's, even the shimmer shade's got a lot of kickback to it. 
like I cannot well let's try it on my finger maybe it's not supposed to go over the brown it's really light like it's not pigmented at all I hope the other palette isn't going to be the same, but I'm assuming it is. Have you, um, comment below if you've used the Winky Lux palette and are they, if, um, have you enjoyed the formula or are you having a hard time with, do you have a hard time with it as well, with, like I have been? I mean, look at all that fallout. Wow, it's... And I cannot get it even to be pigmented. Um, yeah, this looks like a total disaster. Okay, let's do, I'm going to do the Honey Lavender shade for the inner portion. Maybe this will do be better. And I'll just use my finger. Yeah, definitely do your eyes first with this palette. It is not very easy to work with. And it's, again, the smell's barely even there. Okay, I'm gonna try to clean this up around my eyes and I'll be back. All right, I went ahead and did my eyeliner since I didn't have a new eyeliner. But I um, am going to use this Flower um, Supernova Celestial Skin Elixir. You can use this as a moisturizer or you can use it as a primer. And I'm going to use it because I've already moisturized my face. So I'm going to use this as a primer today. And I don't know how much you're supposed to use. Oh. It's like... It feels like oil. Oh, maybe I put way too much. How is an oil a primer? It has a slight scent. Yeah, maybe I should have used it as a moisturizer and let it sink in, or maybe I just put too much in. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit for a few minutes, I'll be back. While that's trying to sink in my skin, I put way too much. I'm gonna uh, go in with this shade Sugar Crystal and highlight my bone, brow bone right there. Okay, I didn't have a new um, color corrector, which ended up being um, more on my face, which is fine, because um, I do want to try this Perlice Radiant Glow BB Cream, even though I don't know if my face needs any more glowing. Um, but we'll go with it. I, w I wish I was not going to work now, <laughs> because this... So far, nothing's been working for me. And I got this foundation in, um, I think it was like my Ipsy or something. It was one of my subscriptions. Uh, I'm assuming Ipsy because I get the small things from, um, in one of my Ipsy's. It's going to be hard to tell if I like this foundation with how glowy I already am with that elixir. Comment down below if you've used it as, an elixir, uh, as a primer before or and did, did you, did it, uh, maybe you went in with a little bit less and 
you didn't have as much of an issue as me. Yeah. This. I am just so glowing. Okay, I'm going to go in and try this. This is a from Ruby, Ruby Kisses 3D Contour Artist Blush. Um, I already did my um, bronzer and um, stuff in my concealer because I didn't have a new one. And it just lifted. And I'm assuming it's the elixir. Um, it doesn't go well on a, as a primer. Okay. I'm going to go in with the pinks. The pink. It's either pink or rose. I think I'm going to go in with pink. It's not even showing up. Today is a disaster. And this looks like even darker than this shade. It's, maybe I'll use it as a highlight because it is not showing up. Okay, I put some different cream blush on. I'm going to try using this as a highlight. It's just lifting. It's not even showing up even as a highlight. Yeah, I can't use this today. Yeah, it's not very, it's not going well for me today. Okay, I went ahead and set um, around my face with a different powder because I want to try this one wild powder, but it looks really shimmery and we don't need any more shimmer, but I want to still try it. So I figured I would do it um, under my eyes in my T-zone to set all this glow. I can get this peel off. Now that I finally got that off, let's go in and, oh wow. I wonder, oh, is this a highlight? See, it didn't say anything on the bottle, but look at how glowy that is. This has gotta be a highlight. I'm gonna use it as a highlight, oh my goodness. Okay, I take that back. I'm gonna go and put a different powder. I'll be back. Okay, I'm getting, this is brand new. This Physician's Formula, it's a warm beige light bronzer. So I am going to use this. Something's gotta work today. N nothing's been really working. I shouldn't, and I don't have time to redo my face for work. I should just take it all off and not go to work with makeup today, I guess. But I don't even have time for that. This one's not scented. I thought maybe all the bronzers are got a slight scent, but not this one. And it's very, very light, which I like. I do have to build it up though, maybe because of my foundation's too dark, or everything else that kind of combined with it. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush and just kind of contour my nose. Welcome to my channel. The struggle is real. Okay, I'm going to go with this phase zero um, makeup. And this is a blush, this color. Everything's been a disaster today. And I can't say that 
I wouldn't like some of these products. I think it was just the base, the foundation, or the, I'll start with the elixir and kind of made everything go, uh, dewy. All right, let's fix this. Um, this is a highlight, I'm assuming. Oh, wow. It's very, very pigmented. I do like it, but it's not a, a setting powder. So it is a highlight. It's got to be. And it's very pigmented. So, okay, let's finish our eyes. I'm going to go in with the hibiscus shade under my eye. This is one reason. Don't film first impressions before work. All right, I'm gonna go in with a sugar crystal. Especially since this is only day three for me on the job. <laughs> and I'm gonna go in like this. Again, thank goodness for the mask, but Disaster. Okay, now I'm going to try this I mascara from Iconic London. There's the wand. Hmm. It's got a small wand, so I might be able to actually use the same mascara for my lower lashes. Usually if it has a big wand, I go in with a different one that has a small wand for the lower lashes. I prefer the bigger ones for the upper. I think it's just easier for me to do. That's why I like that pixie one. It has like a wand for each in the same mascara. But I. I do like how that made my eyelashes look. So let's see how the lower lashes will do. Kind of clumping the lower lashes. Wow, I like that. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the next candy slick. Um, lipstick, glowy lip color. It's a slight scent. Hmm. Not bad. Okay, and last but not least, I'm going to try this Rose Water Prep and Refresh Hydrating Mist. I don't know if my face really needs any more of this of a mist, but we're going to go with it. It's a very slight scent of a rose scent, which is good. Uh, I'm going to let that sit. 
Well, this was the final look using the first impressions of some stuff. I think I just got um, frustrated after the beginning that I couldn't really give an honest, you know, like a good review of all the other pro products. But like this blush wasn't bad. The mascara is not bad. The ro you know the setting powders or the setting spray was good. The lipstick. Um, I think it was just the elixir that I I need to use it as a not as a primer and then of course it was hard to determine if um, the foundation was any good um, the palette I, I did not like um, it's, it wasn't as pigmented it was too too much kickback in the pan and not all, fall out on your face and it wasn't as scented as I thought um, the uh, Highlight, I didn't realize it was a highlight, so that was my fault. The bronzer was okay. I, I like their other bronzers better, not just because they're scented, but um, they performed a little bit better. Um, but all in all, um, this is the look, and I guess it, it it's, doesn't look the greatest, but you know what? I'm wearing a mask to work, and, and honestly, because of how duty, do, duty, dewy everything is, I'm wondering if... This is not going to withstand a mask today. It's gonna be like so patchy. But anyway, um, so we are, I am gonna be doing a collaboration with two other girls and I'll, um, ha I'm gonna post a little video of the preview of what it is, but we're all gonna do a look and then we're gonna all do a giveaway and one winner from all three of our giveaways. So, and that starts October 19th and I'll upload the um, preview today in this separate video and also um, out on the 19th we'll post the, the uh, giveaway where you can enter and it'll be open for 10 days so I'm excited and I hope um, to see you all then bye